Hey Planet Friends, I'm back with another video. This time I'm going to be planning for the month of July. Um, it's almost here, can you guys believe it? And this is my very first spread in my very first Erin Condren. So let me move this out of the way, I'll show you my Erin Condren really quick. So this is the cover that I chose, this is the custom photo kit, uh, photo cover. Um, and this is a picture of the Graham Prismatic in um, Yellowstone National Park. When I went, it was a very chilly day, and so there was a lot of steam over the geysers because um, when you put cold air to hot things, you get steam. So it's kind of neat because it made a rainbow effect of the purple to blue to orange to, or yeah, red, orange, yellow. Um, there's some green in here and some blue. And you can actually see the clouds reflecting in the bottom, which is really cool. Um, and then on the back is another um, feature from Yellowstone National Park. I can't remember what it's called, um, so forgive me. Um, if I think about it, I'll put it down in the comments. All right, so I already did a video kind of setting up my Erin Condren. So I'm just going to flip through really quick. Um, I have the neutral vertical, and again, this is my very first spread in my Erin Condren. Um, so I've already got my all my dots down for the important days and holidays. I still have to put a, a key in here, and I'll get to that later. Um, and then I decided to do... Um, books I've read for each month in these boxes here because I am an avid reader and I'm trying to make sure that I read more. Um, and then, so we'll go ahead and get into the month of July. So here is my monthly overview. I'm just going to pull my ruler out so it's out of the way. Um, I've already broke a couple of the, the little tines off of here. I don't know if you can see that. So there's a few missing there. None of them are missing here yet, but just give it time. Um, I'm good at breaking things. So I'm going to set that off to the side. So the kit that I am using is from Simply Watercolor Co. Um, and I decided to go for a non-traditional, instead of doing kind of like a 4th of July themed, I wanted something more summery. So um, this is a butterfly kit. It does have gold foil. And so on the left side it'll say July and it says without change there can be no butterfly. You got some washi strips here. Um, this is where you'll put the days of the week. Um, I've got my sidebar boxes, I have flags, um, little flags, and then um, appointment boxes, and some large flags, and then um, some half boxes, some bill dues, um, another section of sticker here to cover up the um, empty space that is not used for the month of July, right here at the bottom. Uh, I don't know if that's going to fit. Oh yeah, there we go. And then... I don't know what I'm supposed to use to cover up the first. Oh, there we go. The sticker right here. Perfect. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see that. Come on. Zoom. Focus. Bear with me a second, guys. I'm trying to get it to focus. I don't know if it will. Here we go. It just says fly away. And then you got a bunch of bow stickers down here at the bottom. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this over, and we will get started. I'm going to zoom you in. There we go. Um, so typically, um, I use a different shop's kits for my monthlies, but this one, I just, I had to have it. It, it was a must. Um, I love Simply Watercolor Co., um, but this is the first time that I've just absolutely had to have a kit. Um, for a monthly so it looks like a little bit of this flag is going to peek out So I'm just gonna white that out a little there All right, because I want to cover up the days of the week And so I also want to make sure that I get this lined up also Oh No, that was terrible 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 terrible. So I use matte stickers. I I will use glossy if that's the only thing that's available um and I don't mind glossy, I just prefer matte. Um, even though most of them say that they are not removable, I find that they are indeed um, easy enough to remove. I don't know, hopefully the uh, day of the week covers will block that out. I don't know if I like that. Oh well, it's down now and I'm not ripping it up. I'll go ahead and wipe this side out though. Um, I know it's probably going to look weird. 
I guess I should have done that beforehand. I've been having some problems with my washi tape though and I didn't mess with it. All right, so there's that one. And now this side here. And I better cover, uh-oh, better cover this up too. Let me set this down. There we go. Wipe this out. I just wanna make sure it doesn't show through the sticker. The sticker is so light. And this is kind of dark. There we go. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and put that up. And what I love about the Erin Condren, um, before I was in a Recollections, and I mean, it was nice. It's a Recollection spiral bound. So it's very similar to the Erin Condren, but it's not an Erin Condren. Um, but the stickers are going to fit in here so much nicer. Um, with the Recollections, things were just a little off and so the stickers didn't fit, fit quite right so at least this way I know that everything is going to work the way it should. Alright so next I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom washy-ish whatever you want to call it strip here. Um, cover up all of the dead space first and then I can go back and do all the important things. So I'm going to line this up as best I can. Alright there we go absolutely beautiful I love butterflies I don't I don't think there's too much of a variety here in Colorado um, others might disagree but I haven't seen too many um, type different types of butterflies around here um, we do have this place um, it's more kind of kid centric but it's called the butterfly pavilion um, I have not been I've lived in Colorado for three and a half years and I have not been to the butterfly pavilion I'm kind of hesitant to go simply because it is such a kid-centric um, place and I've heard it's kind of expensive um, so not really in a rush maybe one of these days I haven't had anyone young enough that's wanted to go uh, or young enough to visit or young young enough visit that is interested in going. The only person that has come up to visit so far has been my mother and my 18 year old niece and so we're not really into the butterfly things which is fine with me. Alright so those are in. I'm going to go ahead and set my sidebar stickers going down and let's see I think I'm going to start with the blue and then um, so I'll go blue, yellow, pink or blue, yellow, pink, yellow that way there's a butterfly in each or every other section. There we go. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it unstuck from my fingers. So, and the nice thing about the Erin Condren is I don't have to white out extra lines like I did in my recollections. Um, the sidebars were always wider than the Erin Condren sticker, so it was kind of a pain. And it's so nice to not have to do that. But now I just need to make sure that I get them lined up right so that they don't get crazy crooked. There we go. And then pink. And yes, I'm covering that up because that's what I'm going to do. I don't really need the next month. There we go. And then I'm wondering if I shouldn't put... Do I have a random piece of washi I can stick down there? Um, or should I just wipe it out? And then I can use a different kind of washi or something later. Let me just see if I need to... I just don't want it showing through. Okay. Better safe than sorry, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and... It doesn't line up perfectly... But that's okay. I, oh, actually, that's perfect. Beautiful. I love that the Erin Condren has the moon phases. Um, I've never been really like a Wiccan or into um, the lunar phases. I just think it's fascinating to know, especially when there's a full moon. Um, and I have some stickers for that. I just haven't hauled them yet, so I probably won't put them in here until I haul them. That'll be another video for another time. Once I haul them, I'll go ahead and put them back in here. Alright, so the next thing that I want to mark um, is going to be birthdays and paydays. So I'll do paydays first, which I need to look back at the beginning of my calendar here. So my first payday is going to be July 6th. 
Um, ooh, and I gotta do my date dots. I'm so excited to have some pretty date dots. Oh, how am I gonna do this? I don't wanna mark, I don't wanna cover up the moon phase. I guess I could just kinda go off to the side, right? Or in the middle. I'll just kinda do it like that. That works, right? Okay. Um, and then the 20th is the next one. See, if I had to mark Thursdays, I still would have been having issues. Alright, and then this one I'll go ahead and just stick off to the side anyway. There we go, perfect. Alright, so before I forget, let me go ahead and put my days of the week up top and then I'll do my date dots. Um, let's see how well it Oh yeah, it covers it up pretty well. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Alright. It's, I'm not going to complain. I'm not a perfectionist. I like it to look nice, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, I love all the foiling. I'll tell you, I wish more kits offered foiling without having to pay almost $30 for it. I mean, it's definitely worth it. Don't get me wrong. I know there's a lot of um, attention that goes into doing foiling. Um... By golly, there's just not enough foil in the world. All right, Friday. Whereas I like, I wish I could call it Friday every week, but I work a lot of weekends, so I can't really say Friday every week. Um, this coming week, I have a Friday because I'm off on Saturday and Sunday, so I can't complain. I had a really nice week this week. I was off today, um, I did, which is Tuesday, by the way. Today is Tuesday, um, June 19th, that I'm filming this. Um, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. So I have um, today off, but I had to go to a meeting at the hospital. So that was from 12.30 to 3. And then I um, just had to run errands and everything. I go to work tomorrow. And then I am off on Thursday. <laughs> and then I go to work on Thursday, or on Friday. And I'm off on Saturday and Sunday. It's kind of nice. I guess in a way it's kind of makes up for the fact that I had to work some, what was it, not this past week, but the week before I think it was, I worked five days in a row with day five um, being the day before Memorial Day, or the day before my camping trip, I don't remember what it was, but I was exhausted, so very exhausted, I think it was the day before my camping trip, that's what it was. Um, so I was more than ready to go and I had three days off. We only went camping one night, but it was fun um, And it was just the right amount of time off so um, It was nice just being able to not have to go to work for three days in a row You know, it's nice having three days off in a week, but when they're in a row, it's really nice But <laughs> the downside is is you don't want to go back to work <laughs> so I like my job, so I can't complain. Um, I have the shift that I like the most, which is kind of funny because no one else wants it, so I have no competition <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. I work 2.30 to 11 um, when I work, and that 11 o'clock does sometimes mean midnight or later. Last night it meant midnight. Um, the Friday before Memorial Day, 11 meant getting off at 2 o'clock in the morning. So it varies. It just depends on how busy we are. We're in our super, super busy time. And it's pretty much going to be like this for the next probably two months or so. Um, but it definitely makes the days go by faster. And the month and the year. Um, I am coming up on my one year anniversary. I don't remember the exact date. Um, but maybe I should mark that in my calendar because I'll have to look it up. And this year has just flown by at work. Um, you know, great group of people. Love working with them all. And the clients can sometimes be a trial, but you're going to get that anywhere you go, right? I know, this is taking forever. But at least I'm talking while I work, huh? Alright, so we're almost there. Day tw or yeah, day 20. Um, 
I'm gonna have to make a note in the planner here um, when to book my tickets for my vacation in October. I kind of found an interesting little random fact that the cheapest time, the best time to buy your airline ticket to get the cheapest fare is to purchase it on the Tuesday six weeks prior to your travel day at three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Pretty random, right? Three o'clock on a Tuesday, exactly six weeks prior to flight. What is the cheapest the airline ticket will ever be? I'm trying to fly first class if I can get good enough prices. I'd rather be comfortable because I'm flying from Colorado to Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm doing a direct flight. I don't want connections at all. Um, so I want to be comfortable. I don't want to listen to screaming kids or anything like that. Um, I plan on traveling on a Thursday and coming back on a Sunday. Um, they say, I think Thursday is one of the more expensive, as long as you don't travel on the weekend, really. All right, you guys, so I got all my date dots down. I got my month down. Let me open it up so I can kind of show you how it all looks. You can see all the foil goodness. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to fold this back up, and I'm going to mark the holidays and birthdays. So the first one is Independence Day, which is July 4th. Um, I'm working and I don't care. Um, it's holiday pay for me, so which means time and a half. Here we go, July 4th. And then I have one birthday. Well, technically, it's two birthdays in July, and that is on the 30th. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have. One thing I need to mark here, it's our anniversary-ish, sort of, kind of, of moving back together. And I'll put a, I think I'll do a bow with a heart in it, because it's cute. And of course it has to be a foil bow, with a full heart, right? Foil bow. Nope, heart's too big. Is where the shot. Okay, so there we go. All right, and then what else do I need to mark in here? We're not having a hospital meeting this month because um, of how busy we get, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, I have a new dashboard for my bills, so I'm not going to put my bills in here. Um, I could maybe use a flag to mark my bills, but I haven't decided. We'll see. We'll see how I do it. I do have, excuse me, some build do stickers here, but um, I have more than four, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to take a quick peek and see if I have any other birthdays that I need to remember because I'm drawing a blank right now. In July, I have my paydays, anniversary, holiday. I marked my paydays already, and then a birthday, so I think that is everything. Um, I haven't decided how, what I'm going to put in my sidebar yet, um, just because I've changed things up. Um, I might do um, goals, books that I hope to read that month, um, and then if there's any errands that I need to do that month, and then I don't know what I'll do for the bottom. What do you guys do in your sidebar? Um, definitely leave me some comments down at the bottom, some suggestions. I look forward to hearing what you guys do with yours. I think I might decorate them a little bit with some bows because they are too cute not to. So we'll just kind of stick them on here, right? Like that. I'm covering up the seven a little bit. Let me move it. There we go. I'm going to use my tweezers because I pulled up a little bit of the paper. There we go. Not too bad. Zoom it in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Alright, so there's the bow on that one. And then I can do a 
cutesy little all right you guys I am back it is another day I was editing and realized that part of it cut off um, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and I will show you what you missed I don't think you missed too much um, so here in just a second here let me get it to focus um, I added just a tiny bit of detail here there we go so I put bows all along each of these little sections um, and then I had already put in my paydays of course and then I went in and added the holidays and then I marked birthday and then um, a little bow here with an appointment label to mark our anniversary. Um, again, I decided I'm not going to put the bills in here. Um, so I'm definitely open to your suggestions on what you guys put into your sidebar. So be sure to leave me some comments down below. Um, I am going to use my Erin Condren dashboard that I purchased. This is for monthly bills. Um, so I will mark each of my bills here. Um, and then if I know the price, I'll put the price with it. And then I'll just check off each month that I... I pay it that way I know that I pay it in time so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in here there we go just like that so if I can get it to go in I had a problem with my ruler kind of breaking on me a little bit and I don't want this to break either so well, what is going on something's not right. uh oh coils coil concerns am I up too high nope Alright, so you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. Alright, so that is in, in my monthly here. Um, so let me open this up so you can see the whole spread. So I've got my date dots on, all the gold glitter, the um, holiday. I do have a sticker that I want to mark that I did finally do a haul on. And that, it's from the Prancing Doxy. And it is to mark the moon phases. I don't know. Give me just a second to see if I can remember where I put the sticker. Um, it's really neat. Um, every month or every full moon is marked in the Prancing Doxy sticker. Ah, here we go. So, um, I'll probably go back to my old planner, which is my recollections planner, and mark all the old ones. Um, and then I'll go forward. Going forward, I will mark all of the other ones. So this month, the one that I want to mark is going to be June 28th, which is the strawberry moon right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. And I thought about putting it on the weekly, but I might put it on the monthly. I haven't decided. Um, and that's funny because this says, oh, I'm in July. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, there isn't one for... Oh, there it is. July 27th is the uh, full moon, and it is called a Buick moon, if you can see right there. Um, I might order another set of these to do for the weeklies, or, you know, in the weekly spread. I don't know. I might save this to do the weekly spread. This did take a little while to come to me, so I might just do it in the weekly spread since it's already marked on the calendar here. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look and see if they put them in. This is my first Erin Condren, so I don't know where they actually put them in um, in the months. So let's learn together. Why don't we? Okay, so the moon phases are not in here, so that's what I will do. Since it's on the monthly calendar, I will save these to use in the weekly spreads. Um, but I will go ahead and link this down below, um, even though I'm not using it in my monthly spread, just so that you know about it. Again, it's the Prancing Doxy, and she's on Etsy. Alright, you guys, sorry for the abrupt halt in the video and then the restart a couple of days later, but at least my nails don't look terrible anymore. <laughs> I did take the nail polish off and um, just put some clear coat on them so that uh, they don't break. Um, again, my name is April and I am Pugged and Crafty. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. Bye.